demonstrate is what are available in the Kubernetes. So here we can see this deployment is a method used to update running application or workload with the new version. So the aim is to introduce the changes with the minimal interruption and show the availability, enable the rollbacks in case of any fail failures. So there are classified into six categories. One is the rolling update, rolling update strategy. And the second one is the recreate strategy. The third one is blue green, blue green deployment. And fourth one is canary deployment. Fifth one is shadow deployment. Sixth one is AB testing. So based on their requirement, they will choose. I uh, will see the first one uh, now. So rolling update in the rolling update strategy. This is the default strategy and replaces the old parts with the new ones. The main advantage of here is uh, no downtime is required uh, during the update and it allows monitoring the during rollbacks uh, rollouts. So uh, disadvantage here is issues may affect many users before detection that means while doing the upgrade process the issues may arise before detection the errors i will give you the sample, sample example here is strategy i pass a rolling update okay and we can see max search uh, rolling update type right search and available available specify the number of parts uh, th that you need to be uh, not available during this update process and max search max not max unavailable max search max unavailable and here is max search specify the number of parts newly created uh, that is how it will be working and we will go with the new one recreate strategy so recreate strategy here is ray this entire thing recreate strategy it is completely all the old parts terminated before the new ones are created so advantage is here simple and clean uh, ensure the clean transition uh, main disadvantage here is application requests downtime and limited rollbacks in case of any failures example is we need to specify the strategy as a recreate strategy